Excuse me, brother. Believe the confessor is wrapping up his sermon. You should head inside. doomed, brothers and sisters, and they know it. The people of Far Harbor need only peer out their windows to look upon the face of Adam himself, given form in holy fog. Yet no matter how inevitable Adam's reign in this Papa land may be, they deny it. Out of here. Scoff at us behind their condensers. Kill our missionaries. Slay those who only wish to bring them the light no longer. After years of skulking in the shadows like whipped dogs, our purpose is clear. And I know the key to our victory lies within the nucleus itself. We will claim the secrets hidden away by that accursed robot, and with them, we will wipe Far Harbor from the island. Adam's veil will roll down its streets. Holy fog cleansing the land of their heresy. And when we are finally granted division, it will be as heroes. A new day dawns, brothers and sisters. Glory to Adam! Glory to Adam! Oh, oh, please, oh, keep the faith, must, must continue. Uh, hi there. Where? Please, leave me alone. Oh, sorry. Sorry, am I in the way? has gotten a little bigger. Welcome. It can't be true. They ate Brother Andrews? That is what I heard. All of Far Harbor joined in and threw themselves a veritable feast. But why would they do that? Executing him in cold blood seemed indignity enough. Word is they were trying to claim Adam's blessing for themselves. Guard themselves against the glow. I... I, I just can't believe it. Those people. Monsters. Who knows what they're capable of? Excuse me. Yeah? I mean, glory to a- Wait, you're the new convert. You happen to see Brother Devon, the sickly guy praying off by himself. Sure, I saw Devon. Why do you ask? See, Brother Devon, he's been on a fast. A long one. No food. Only irradiated water. Waiting for a sign from Adam. Most folks would say that's real admirable. Giving yourself to Adam like that. What do you think? Why? What do you think? I've got my opinions. Right now, I'm interested in yours. What do you think about this fast? Brother Devon's actions are very admirable. Truly proving his devotion. I mean, no one's saying the kid's not tough, sure, but... Look, me and Devon, we're... We weren't born with Adam's blessing like everyone else around here. Rads, they hurt us. Now Devon thinks fasting and refusing meds till he dies is gonna get Adam to grant him some kind of revelation or something. 
I've tried talking to him, but he won't listen to me anymore, and everyone else in this place thinks what he's doing is a brilliant idea. I... I know we don't know each other, but, but if you could convince him to quit, I'd owe you. Could give you some anti-rad meds I've cooked up. Recipe, too. Got some stuff in it that could come in handy, even for folks that don't mind rads. What do you say? Talk to him for me? Anti-rad meds? Are those allowed? No one's gonna bother you about scouring off the globe, if that's your concern. They understand we weren't all born with his blessing. But my brew will clear away some rads and give you a little kick of energy. Anytime I make a batch, you're welcome to some. Give you the recipe to boot. So you think you'd be willing to talk to Brother Devin about this fast of his? Okay, sure. I'll talk to him. Oh, thank you. Please, just do it quick, all right? He's starting to look bad. You a Geiger Holy counter doing tark wheels too? Your faithful awaits. Brother Devin. Holy Adam. From this spot, I... I... Is that you? Oh, holy... Oh. I, I'm sorry, brother. I thought you were... Never mind. Did you need something? You seem like you're expecting someone. I am. Adam came to me. And I will follow his command. Adam came to you? What did you see? My saving grace. Jet has been my crutch for many years. One day, I was in the woods, polluting myself, when a figure strode from the sky before me, a verdant stag, wreathed in holy glow. It commanded me to return to the Nucleus, and to leave behind my iniquities, and give myself fully to Adam. For my dedication, Adam would send another messenger, who would free me from my shackles once and for all. That, brother, is why I must wait. I have good news! I am Adam's messenger, and I have come to free you from your shackles. Hiya! There! Now, uh, let's just keep this between us, okay? You're... You're the messenger? The shackles are gone? They are, aren't they? Oh, thank you. Thank you, your brilliance. And don't fear, messenger. I will keep your secret. Oh, Adam above, thank you. I can't believe it. His messenger. Shield me from those who would do me harm. Where? You did it. Adam above, you did it. Here, anytime I brew a new batch, you can have some. And if there's anything else I can do for you, you let me know. You mentioned before you're affected by radiation. Why would you choose to live in a place like this? Sure beats where I came from. Before joining the family, I was a trapper. Lived with a nasty bunch out in the fog. Barely scraping by. Kinda place you slept with a knife under your pillow to make sure no one stole your food. But one day, out hunting, we stumbled upon High Confessor Tectus and his crew on their way to a pilgrimage. We surrounded them, took them captive. Figured we could ransom them back for some grub and ammo. I pulled guard duty. And me and the High Confessor get to talking. You can probably figure out what happened next. Mm-hmm. The High Confessor started describing the life I could have at the Nucleus with Adam. Three meals a day. Not having to worry about getting eaten in my sleep. Radiation wasn't even that much worse. Plus, I had my brew to handle that. Ended up being a pretty easy decision. 
I helped the children clean out the trappers and started my new life here. So, something else I can do for you? Why do you care so much about Devin? I mean, he's a good kid. Sure, he likes his jet a little too much, but it's not like he was out raiding. He just needed a hand. And lucky for us both, you showed up. Huh. Kinda makes you wonder if Adam didn't have a part in this after all. So, was there something else? Got any more of your brew? Fresh out at the moment. Stop by in a couple of days. Now you need something else? Didn't need anything at the moment. All right, then. Take care of yourself. Praise be to Adam. For unshackling me. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I have a son, 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 Pardon me. Glory to Adam, brother. You must be the one Richter sent out to the spring. Don't appear you turned into a slobbering goon. So I'm guessing you had a favorable experience. What visions did Holy Adam bless you with? A woman. She guided me to a small shrine. The Grand Zealot said she was called the Mother of the Fog. What? <laughs> you? Saw the Mother of the... How did... I guess it's not our place to question the ways of Adam. If there is anything I or the other zealots can do to serve, all you need to do is ask. So you're a zealot? What is that exactly? We are defenders of Adam's faith and guardians of the Nucleus. Most were mercenaries or trappers before they finally came to Adam. Though Richter, apparently, was actually a soldier of some rank in his old life, if the rumors are true. Adam ever grant you any vision? Sort of. My parents were settlers. Tried to carve out a life for us in the fog. Moved us all out there when I was just a girl. Made do for a couple years. Adam's veil hadn't claimed the whole of the island back then. But then came the storm. A rad storm, unlike anything the island had ever seen. Our little homestead didn't stand a chance. I was the only one to survive, thanks to my blessing, Adam's blessing. I wandered for days, living off whatever I could scrounge, drinking puddles and salt water, until I stumbled on a spring, the spring, the vision I had. It felt like it lasted for days. I was back in the storm, but I wasn't afraid. I was in control. When I finally came to, I was in Richter's arms. He carried me back here and raised me to serve Adam. What? I am the Grand Zealot Second. It is my job to ensure the Zealots are fit for the conflict to come, against all those who offend Adam. Nothing for now. Remain vigilant, brother. Pardon me, Zealot failed. Yes? Something you needed? Nothing for now. Remain vigilant, brother. Another child, dead at the hands of Far Harbor. Barbarous animals. The Faithless must be punished. Adam's Chosen must bring judgment to his enemies. Excuse me. I was wondering when I'd get to meet our newest member. I'm Sister Mai. And rumor has it, you're the one who caught the attention of the Mother of the Fog. You happen to catch the Grand Zealot's, uh, loyalty test too? Loyalty test? Yeah. We saw Richter leading those two outside. Only one came back right around the time you showed. Figured you were probably witness to the whole thing. Yeah, I saw it. Mm. Look, it's a lesson worth learning now. Trust is a big deal in this family. Our members need to know how to steer clear of trouble. Just stay on the High Confessor's good side and you'll be all right. Now, there's something I can show you? And, uh, not sure if the glow bothers you, but I can help with scouring too. 
You mentioned scouring. What's that? Oh, right. Well, most of us here, the glow doesn't harm us. But Adam's picky about sharing his blessing. We keep some anti-rad meds on hand for those in need. Most folks around here, High Confessor included, consider it kind of a penitence. Scour oneself and embrace the glow anew. So, did you want to peruse the goods? I'll take a look, sure. Nothing's junk if you use it right. Sister Mai. Looking to gear up? No. Nope. Even Adam's Chosen needs stings and ammo. Was wondering if there was anything you needed help with. Well, there is a project I'm kind of stuck on. I assume you saw the old rad decontamination arches on the way in. I've been trying to fix them for a while now, but I hit a snag. I need a pump regulator with some serious chemical shielding. Industrial grade. And if any place on this island is going to have one, it's the Vimpop factory. The place is swarming with mutants. But if you're up for it, I can make it worth your while. You interested? Why fix the decontamination arches? Don't they get rid of radiation? Not the way I rigged them. I bypassed the filters, so once we get the regulator in place, we'll have a clean way to get a big dose of glow. So, you game to recover it for me? I'll track down the pump regulator for you. You will? Fantastic. I figure it'll probably be somewhere near the mixing room. Just watch yourself out there, all right? So can I show you something? Maybe later. Works for me. Thank you for sending your messenger. Say we get out of here. We'll all be divided before Sister Mai finishes her work on the decontamination arches. Keep her safe on her travels through the fog. Yes, I was right to wait. I was. It was all for the glory. Yes. The vessel is breathtaking, is it not? A machine dedicated to spreading Adam's glow. Devin, don't fear. Your secret is safe with me. A job. A matter of heresy that needs to be dealt with. I'm ready to serve, Grand Zealot. There is a woman, one of our own, or she was, Gwyneth. 
but she's given herself over to something dark. The Confessor ordered Zealot Thiel to track her down, but the heretic eluded her. Now Gwyneth has begun profaning our holy sites with her mad ravings, openly flouting the word of Adam. The High Confessor wants her found and executed. Why have me do this? You have other zealots who probably know the area better. Consider it a test. Prove your dedication to the family. We can't try talking to her? Maybe she'll see reason. Won't lie. Sister Gwyneth was a good woman. But whatever's driven her to this lunacy, I'm not sure how much it's left behind. Regardless, the High Confessors decided her abandonment of Adam's too great a sin. The refusal of his grace can't be permitted. I'll find her, Grand Zealot. Good. Speak to Zealot Thiel. She should be able to point you towards Gwyneth's trail. Bring Adam's judgment to the heretic. Now go. Spirits of a new convert. Welcome, brother. How does it feel to take your place among Adam's chosen? Adam's chosen? This place, the nucleus, the island, Adam has claimed it all for us. He's chosen all but one blasted corner. You've been to Far Harbor, yes? Seen its barriers against Adam's holy fog? Its citizens' blasphemous refusal to vacate what is clearly his domain? What would you do with such a place? Is Far Harbor really that bad? Yes, brother, they are. For years, my predecessor begged for peace, while Far Harbor fortified their bastion of heresy. We tried to help them, to bring them Adam's light. Many of our brethren ended up dying for it. But now that I am High Confessor, that time is over. All Adam's foes, whether Far Harbor cowering behind their precious condensers, or that ancient robot hiding away his memories within our very home, they will come to recognize Adam as the sole master of this island. But it is only through unity that we can succeed. Adam requires devotion from all his children. Embrace that, and you will do well here. Now, was there anything you required? Would you mind answering a couple questions for me? I would be happy to. What would you know?
What happened to the Confessor before you? Martin. No one knows. One night he was sleeping in his chambers in the vessel, and the next morning he'd simply vanished. The other zealots and I organized a party to try and find him, to no avail. I wouldn't be shocked if he took up in Far Harbor or fled to the south. His dedication to Adam had become questionable. He'd done nothing when Far Harbor executed one of our missionaries. So I dare say it's best that he fled. What happened to this missionary? A foul atrocity. Our good brother Andrews had decided to brave the fog and attempt to bring Adam's light to that ghastly town and remind the heathens of their trespasses. From what I hear, he'd barely spoken a word before they cut him down in cold blood, for nothing more than his devotion. Beasts. There's so much radiation on the island. How come people here don't get sick? Some do. But most of our family has been blessed at birth with an affinity for the glow. It's no more to us than a May rain. Warm, comforting. It's why a place like this island truly is meant for his children. Others simply wither away while we gladly await division. What can you tell me about division? Adam's greatest gift. Locked inside us all are billions of invisible worlds, waiting only to be touched by his glow in order to be born anew through division. During the Great War, it was granted to many, though they certainly didn't realize it. But today it is often a slow process, taking years of exposure in order to be realized. We are all here to spend our lives seeking the promise of division however long it may take. Now, did you have another question? I heard the children are responsible for the fog. Is that true? Of course. The fog predates our arrival on the island, certainly. But before us, it was but an occasional presence. Yet through our faith, our devotion to family, Adam saw fit to reach across the land, claiming for us more, year after year, until near all lay beneath his grasp. Now, was there something else I could answer for you? We were guided here many years ago, after our exile from Far Harbor. The first of us, my predecessor, Martin and I, had come north at the behest of Adam's great prophet, Confessor Cromwell, from a small refuge in the capital wastes. When we arrived on the island, we found a few souls receptive to Adam's message. Anna, the archivist, was formerly Far Harbor's doctor before she found the light. But most, they thought us a menace. We were chased from the town, driven into the wilds, barely escaped with our lives. Some of us were never the same. It was only thanks to the grace of Atom that we survived, and finally found a place that we could call home. Didn't have anything else for the moment. Adam, keep you. Excuse me, High Confessor. Far Harbor claims another of our brethren. Their demise cannot come soon enough. But, I'm sorry, Peter. You needed something. I found this icon. The Grand Zealot said you'd be interested in seeing it. Is that the Mother? So the whispers were true. You saw the mother of the fog. Many of Adam's children spend their whole lives wishing for such a boon. It would seem he expects great things from you, child. 
as will I. Now, was there anything else? Those memories you'd been wanting to access? I found a way to unlock them. You have? Atom above, child. I can only imagine what you had to do in order to lay your hands on such information. But understand that you are to bring anything you find directly to me. I will send word you're not to be impeded. And be careful. Too many of our brethren have fallen already trying to unlock the secrets of that accursed machine. Now, go do what you must. High Confessor. Hello, my child. Was there something you required? What can you tell me about the Mother of the Fog? The Mother is one of Adam's most revered messengers. Many years ago, when we were driven from Far Harbor, it was she who guided us through the wilds to this sanctuary. We might all have been lost if it wasn't for her. You should be honored she found you so interesting. I'd like to help the family. Is there anything I can do? Eager. There is a member of our little community I've suspected for some time now. My own inquiries have proven fruitless. But your relative newness will likely make it easier for you to sniff out the truth. I would have you investigate this person. Should you find proof of any heresy or disloyalty, you're to bring it to me. So you can be trusted and you'll be rewarded. What exactly am I looking for? Hard evidence of any plots against myself, the family, or disrespect towards Holy Adam. Such transgressions cannot be allowed to stand. Superb. Bring whatever you find directly to me. Here, the person in question. Leave no stone unturned. This is a chance to prove your value to Adam. Be respectful. You walk through hallowed halls.
his punishment to the unworthy shall be everlasting. If you're looking for the crypt, you took a wrong turn. My job to take care of this place. You touch anything, I'm taking the limb. Understand? 